right, kindergartners, it's math time. And we finished our unit on addition. And you guys learned many different ways that you can solve your addition problem. And before we move on to something new, we're gonna spend one lesson working on something that we've practiced before. We've talked a lot about 2D shapes. 2D shapes are flat. There are six shapes that we spent a lot of time talking about. We learned about the square, triangle, circle, rhombus, hexagon, and rectangle. Now, each of these shapes are special. There's something about them that we've learned. Let's go back and talk about a square. A square has four vertices. Remember, vertices are where the lines touch. One, two, three, four. A square also has one, two, three, four, four sides. So a square has four vertices and four sides. We also call vertices corners. But remember, we're working on first grade vocabulary and they use the word vertices and not corners. So this is a square. Our next shape is a triangle. And we had a song that helped us remember what makes a triangle special. Triangles all have three sides, have three sides, have three sides. Triangles all have three sides. One, two, three. So a triangle is special because it has three sides and it also has three vertices. One, two, three. So a triangle is special because it has three vertices and three sides. But unlike a square, the sides of a triangle can be different sizes. It can have a long side and two short sides and still be a triangle. It can have one really long side, one super long side, and another or it can have equal sides. So there are many different ways a triangle can look. The sides do not always have to be the same. Now, this shape right here, if we put a triangle on the top and a triangle on the bottom, it would make a rhombus. A rhombus has a point at the top and a point at the bottom. It has also four corners, four vertices, I mean, and four sides. A circle out of all of these shapes are extra special. A circle has zero corners, zero vertices, and zero sides. And a circle is easy to be found. A circle is a shape that's easy to be found. It has no corners anywhere. It is completely round. A circle is a shape that's easy to be found. It has no corners anywhere. It is completely round. So a circle is easy to spot. Moving on down here, this is the shape with the most sides and the most vertices. It's a hexagon. A hexagon, as you remember, has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. And remember, wherever the sides touch, that's a vertice. One, two, three, four, five, six six vertices. Now the last shape we're gonna review is a rectangle. You might see a rectangle going from top to bottom 
or you might see it on its side left to right. Regardless if it's going up and down or left to right, it's a rectangle. A rectangle has two short sides and two long sides. And it also has four vertices. One, two, three, four. A square, remember, because this makes it extra special, two short sides and two long sides. It's two equals four. Now, we reviewed 2D shapes and 2D shapes are flat. I put a song on our lesson plan for you guys to listen to. And it's the song that goes along with our poster. And for your workbook work, I want you to name each of these shapes. But most importantly, on the back, I want you to color the objects that represent the shape. So if this is a square, only color the things that look like a square. A cracker looks like a square, so if you see a cracker, you would color it. A TV looks like a square, so if you see a TV, you would color it. And then I want you to go around your house and find something that looks like a square a circle, a triangle, and a rectangle in your house.